Very exciting times for business in our region. Greg Wanton of the Evansville Regional Economic Partnership has the latest. Good morning, Greg. Good morning, Angie. How are you doing this fine morning? I am very good, and I'm, I really want to start off by talking about my alma mater, Murray State University. Looks like some, uh, some basketball actions coming our way. That's the OBC Championship. That's going to be from Wednesday through uh, Saturday. And when you consider Murray State, they're ranked number 19th in the country. I think the Ford Center will be rocking in downtown Evansville. We'll have those thoroughbred racers out there. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you know, talk to us just a bit about the economic impact of having that event and events like that where people are coming from around the area to Evansville. I don't think people totally realize the impact of sports, in particular now with sports, of what it means. And, and just in a few couple of weeks, you're going to see from March 23rd to the 26th, you're going to see the NCAA Division II Men's Basketball Championship at the Ford Center as well. Those kind of, uh, of events really sort of promote the broader region. And thinking about the Corn Ferry uh, Classic in terms of the United uh, Leasing Classic, which is the golf tournament, that's an international event viewed in more than 190 countries around the world, that is really difficult to sort of, sort of buy that kind of publicity, and it really helps to build the brand for the Evansville region. Well, it's really exciting, you know, for all of us who live in this area, and certainly for those of us who live downtown. Now, you've count, your calendar's full, and we're just like, like a minute and a half <laughs> left to go. So I want to talk about the lieutenant governor's uh, appearance. Well, lieutenant governor's coming in. It is sold out, though you can get tickets and you can do a live stream in person. You can go to our, our website, ebbregion.com, and you'll be able to get tickets. But it is sold out, it'll be at Bally's, and it's an opportunity for us with Lieutenant Governor Crouch being from Evansville, Southwest Indiana, is to really thank her for all the work that she's done. And then you have this, is very interesting to me, launching your own business uh, workshop. Uh, we always have a lot of those great launching your own business workshops. That's through the SBDC. A lot of folks may not under know that the SBDC that is housed for our regional, the SBDC is actually housed in, in our, our shop. And so th there's a great workshop coming on March 10th, learning how to start your own business and they'll help you go through the process. So we also uh, have a new newcomer's guide rolling out. We do have a newcomer's guide that is out right now. You can, once again, you can go to the website. It's a great newcomer's guide, especially if you're, you're thinking about coming into the region or you know somebody who's coming into the region. Or you can utilize this as you're trying to attract talent into the marketplace. It tells you a little bit about everything within the broader region and is, is extremely well done. Is it both digital and print? Can you print one up? Yeah, you can print one off okay. and you can also go and get it digital as well, so you can do both. So tell us about Principal Katie. Principal Katie. So Katie Bouchard, she was, she was the Posey County Teacher Administrator of the Year. She is principal for Mars Elementary School. And we really want to congratulate her as well as in terms of the, the Mount Vernon School District, Matt Thompson and Michael Galvin, superintendent of, 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 of the Mount Vernon, in terms of Mount Vernon, of also North Posey, for their insight for the State of the Schools event. Well, congratulations to her and for all the exciting things coming. Greg, thank you for being with us. Thank you, Angie. Talk and have you. a great, sunny Monday morning. You too. I think we both will. Great to see you.